Hey guys, Extremely Tired Boy here and uh, welcome back to another video. So currently I'm in car with Mr. Tom Brooks. Say hello Tom. Good morning, how are you? Tired. Yeah, I know, we've <laughs> been up since four Jimmy. So as you've heard from Tom's complaining, I essentially forced Tom up and Tom to wake up at uh, four in the morning because we are on our way to Cardiff. So currently it's 10 past eight in the morning. We've been going since uh, about 4 a.m. So earlier before. Because as you've probably read from the title of this video, Today is a very exciting day. We are paying a visit to a fellow you might know if you follow GT Academy or just race in general, a fellow named Jan Mardenborough. Um, because, well, he has something very interesting that today I'm going to go and take a look at. This is Willie. Yes, Tom, this is Willie. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> Here's our, our camera car. Well, kind of. This is the uh, Tom's Hyundai i30N. Tom, you like it oh so much. Tell the, tell the people what, what it's about. Uh, well, it's a Hyundai. It's the i30 and it's the N model, Jimmy. So uh, it was developed at the Nürburgring. It's 275 horsepower and it goes like shit off a shovel. As you can probably tell from the intro, I, I kind of thought about maybe making this video kind of a, a guessing thing and uh, kind of clickbaiting the shit out of it. But you know what? No, I, I, I don't want to do that. Um, the car we're going to look at today... Is a Nissan Micra! It's a Beans Nissan Micra. <laughs> <laughs> the car we're going to look at is a Nissan R32 GTR. And if everything goes well, I might be driving home with it. So of course I'm very excited, sitting here grinning like an idiot. We're about uh, about half an hour away from uh, from Jan's house, and uh, I guess we'll pick up when we get there. See you then. So we've arrived at uh, Jan's house to come look at the car and of course to look at this car we have to move this car. Ferrari 456 I think, V12. Absolutely gorgeous thing, big fan of it. Um, it's a real shame though because someone, I think Jan, he said he bought this like a couple of days ago, someone's put a bloody, like a brick for the window already. Like it's horrendous. So luckily it was under the window but it's such a shame to see such a beautiful car just have that done to it straight away. There's nothing that I'll probably ever own in my lifetime, but it's very nice to look at. All right, so Jan's a boy racer at heart. As you can see, his first mod going on the Ferrari there. Uh, what do you reckon? How much horsepower is that going to add? This is what, uh, this is how Ferraris we race like back in the day. Baby. Yeah. They race with bin bags on their windows. Baby blue bin bags, yeah. Protect them from the rain. So they didn't have glass back then. Just bin bags. <laughs> Just, the batteries on these, they don't last long at mm -hmm. all because they're quite small. Um, the sizing on them. Just well, disconnect them. Disconnect it. Push one down the right. It's pretty clean for a 30 year old car. Yeah, the only problem is, is this. I had a dodgy battery yeah. and it spilled acid. But it's just surface. Yeah. It's solid. It just needs repainting. <laughs> so after standing there frankly speechless at this <laughs> R32 GTR just sitting there in front of me. I uh, asked Jan if it was possible for him to take us out in the car just so we can get an idea of what it was all about. Right, so we're out now in the uh, in the in the GTR with uh, Jan, just going for a bit of a, a test drive, I suppose. Um, Jan, uh, I guess if you could do us a favour and just roll through the spec list of this at the moment as it is and uh, let the guys know what uh, this is all about. Okay, so this is a 1993 R32 GTR V-Spec 1. It's a mouthful. <laughs> um, I had this in 2015 and it's pretty much the same spec as I imported it so it's got a few things done to it compared to stock. It has a few mines parts if you remember mines from good old Grand Prism days so mines uh, clock and it's got mines strut bracing, mines um, 
equal length downpipes, which make it sound like the Paul Walker car. There's a yeah. distinct difference between an e a downpipe that has twin equal lengths yeah, yeah. and one that has an even, because the GTR has an even from factory, and they sound very different to ones that have uh, equal lengths. So on the down, it Big screams, difference. Then. Yeah, the noise is a bit different. A Kakimoto exhaust. It has the mid still the same mid silencer, so it's not that loud. Uh, HKS. Inside it's leather trimmed instead of the normal uh, Alcantara. But this was done in Japan by a company called Robson Leather, which it was new when I had it and seems to be okay. It sounds not very nice, isn't it? Yeah, the front two seats are leather, the rears aren't, they're vinyl, but you can't really tell. How's about the Very comfortable, thank you there, Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> very comfortable indeed. It's like going out of the kit, isn't it? Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Have you ever had it on a, um, a diner or anything? I haven't. I'm just scared of them um, Dino guy just bouncing off the limit. I've never yeah, hit yeah. the limit on these, but the weak point is the oil pump. Yeah. And they always go if you hit the limit up, so I've never got here and I'm just going through it. After having this massive idiotic grin on my face every time Jan did a pull in the car, we went back to his house and I did something that I never thought I'd ever have the opportunity or the means to do, and that was to buy one of my dream cars. I bought the R32 GTR. Well, here I am then inside my R32 GTR. I cannot believe I am saying both. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and show you guys on camera a little bit when we get when I get a bit of an opportunity to but um, the way this thing comes onto the boost it's just I don't know how to describe it I mean it's not great it's it's laggy it does exist you know but, uh, below 4,000 rpm there's not really much there but as soon as you get there you put the turbo start and you just get that GTR noise and it just oh. I am so happy right now and like, to me, this car is an investment, you know, like, it's something that I want to keep and I want to look after. Maybe, maybe do something more in the future with it, but you know, for now, very happy with it as it is. And I don't know, I've always wanted to own a GTR. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very vocal about that. Once I found out Yam was selling his, you know, something that's been looked after just so well, and you know, the, the, the price was, was was definitely right. It just it just made sense. And now I'm driving an R32 GTR. It's mine. It's mine. Oh my word! I gotta calm down a bit. I got a long drive ahead of me, man. I'm gonna be buzzing all the way there. And I'm the kind of person to save all the money that I get. Every bit of grant is money. Every bit of drive drive money. Every bit of sponsorship money. Everything is saved. I never spend anything. I'm not that kind of guy. It's not. I'm not. I don't go out. You know, not, not much of a social life. I don't go out and drink. I don't go and spunk it on fucking clubs and stuff like that. But this, you know, I, I only really have two interests in my life, which are um, cars and racing. And maybe girls, I guess. But mainly cars and racing. You can argue it's the same thing, but not really. And to have the opportunity to sit in and own one of my dream cars is. 
I am so grateful and I am so lucky. I don't, there's not for a second that goes by that I don't think that, that I am incredibly fortunate to be in this position. So yeah, thank you guys, because you made this happen by watching me, by being here, by being on the streams, you made this happen. And I am eternally grateful. That was the day. That was me going to pick up my dream car. I'm still smiling about it now, despite being the day after. I've really got to say a massive thank you to Jan. He was such a nice guy and uh, was willing to tell me and be patient with me and tell me the little things about the car that I kind of needed to know. And he just made the whole process of going up there and meeting what is frankly quite an intimidating car and making it easy and, well, making it a really fun experience. And of course I've got to say a big thank you to my long-suffering friend Tom Brooks for taking me up there and at such short notice too it was literally I found out the car was for sale and I went and got it the next day. I was so excited I just couldn't couldn't wait and uh, Tom totally enabled me <laughs> so thank you Tom. And lastly I know that I said it a lot in the video but a really massive thank you to you guys. Um, this channel is something that has grown and grown and grown far beyond my expectations or anything else and the fact the channel was still growing somehow is something that I don't know I say it's a lot but I'm very thankful for everything all these opportunities that I get and now I own one of my dream cars and yeah it's very special but guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed it hit subscribe and the bell notification icon because that way we may be notified of future videos and future streams there's definitely more content planned for gtr so if you want to see more of it then hang around take care have an awesome day see you all next time